Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I had a special request from Stella to make some Lily of the Valley earrings. I've made some with small four millimeter beads and some with larger six millimeter beads. I'm using 20 gauge wire. I have 20 gauge green wire and I have my tools. You take about a three inch piece of 20 gauge wire, you take the end and you just make a little loop and then you're just going to bend it back so the loop is closed and centered. Then we're going to take a six millimeter bead and put it on the wire, hold the end with the round pliers, bend that out, and then make a loop at the top. So bring this one around, all the way around, center the loop at the top, adjust it if you have to, and then we're going to take our round nose pliers again and just bend this out. So we have something that looks like that. And then what you want to do is make sure these wires are one on top of the other. We'll hold these with the round pliers and we're just going to bring the wire around the bead to follow the curve of the bead. We'll push it out a little bit and then we're going to make the three little bends. So we're just going to bend that out, take this and make the first bend, make one in the middle, and then make one to the side. And then we're going to bend this straight up so it looks like that. Put it back against the bead, hold it with your thumb and finger and bend it around to follow the curve. And then we're going to make sure this is centered, hold it and bring it around. And then we're going to clip it, pinch it down so it's flush, pinch it a little more if you have to. You can always put the round pliers back in that loop and just adjust it so that's centered. And there we have the Lily of the Valley. I made another one and now we're going to do the stem. First we're going to do these two stems here with one piece of wire. We'll make the loop at the top first. So take your round pliers, bring it around. and then bring one down and the other one straight down so it looks like that. I'll take about a six inch piece of wire next and we're just going to just about an inch and a half from the end just bend it at a good sharp angle and give it a pinch. You can pinch it a little more if you have to and then hold the end with the round pliers bring one out and one around that way and then just curve the shape of the leaf. So we've got something like that. Now you can take the other leaf just to measure it to see where you're going to make the next bend. So I know where I want to start the top of that leaf. We're just going to bring it here, start the bend and you can always bring this up again to check that it's about the same. So we're going to go inside just curve it and then straight down and this here we're going to grab it with the flat pliers and push it so it makes a sharp bend there and again with the round pliers bring it out and around so we can do just two or if you want to do three bring it down Take it with the flat pliers again and push it straight up. So we have the leaf. We're going to twist this end around to finish it off. So just bring this around the top and bend it around a couple of times. Clip it. Pinch it in a little more. We'll hold this between our thumb and finger. Bring this over a bit 
And now we want to twist it around the top here. So just hold this in place and twist it around a couple of times. And then we can clip it. And then we want to give this a good pinch so it's going to hold in place. If it's wiggly, just squeeze it a little more in there. So now we're just going to curve these away a little bit from the leaf. And we'll compare it to this one to see at about what length we're going to dangle it. So we're just going to hold that one there with the round pliers, just bend it around. And this one here at around that position, we're going to bend it around. So just complete those loops, clip that one flush and clip that one. And we'll open that up, put on our first flower, close it and then this one, open it up, put on the flower and close it. Get an earring hook and just put it onto the hook. And there you have your beautiful Lily of the Valley earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.